throw that outside deep, bro. Also, every time someone drops the ball, all the players have the same animation. It's beautiful. Same animation. Every player, doesn't matter what their position is, same animation. Yes! Can, can we get that in this? Can we like, petition to get that in? Field goal! Field goal! I feel like there's one person here who actually knows how to play these games. I'm scared for when I go up against them. Which one do you think it is? Probably the guy wearing the CFL stuff. He's playing right now. Um, Crossplay. Yeah. Yep. That's my bet. Oh, not me. It's a fumble! Everyone pile on top. Pile on top. Is he drunk? He's just very upset with himself. <laughs> Running out of time. That was completion. <laughs> well, some of these hits are vicious. I mean, I love to see a replay on some of these hits. But this is this, this will be the last play of the game. Needs a touchdown. With the completion. Should have went for the field goal. He would have made it. Wrap it over. What did he turn out? Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. This one's like learning how to catch the ball. And then that just went down. You, you want to remake? Remake? Yeah. It's a fluke. I just love that for those field goals, guys, I went one time to run by. So, not versus Y3K. Not a lot. I'm not. Sorry, use your name. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Game on stream? Yeah. I'll see you guys on the other camera. I don't know if I was in Hey, it's a lot of effort, man. I, I almost had that game. Once I learned how to catch the ball, that's I started gaining yards. You can see, I, I learned there was a catch button, and then everything changed. No, oh, sure. Well, this is our first chance of an instant analysis post game, so what do you think? I, I really liked it. I think it's it's not like a perfect simulation, which I wouldn't expect. But, oh my god, is it so much fun. <laughs> Fantastic. That's what I like to hear. It's, it's so fun. Like, are you a football fan? No. no. <laughs> I see that's even better. You gave, I'm very happy you guys are giving us a chance. I agree. And you're enjoying it? It's even better. Oh, yeah. I, so much fun. So much fun. What is that? I really wish there was like a catch button on the HUD that I could have seen. Right. That would have that would have helped. But besides that, besides that. Well, everybody's got that need jerk reaction they want to play so badly that everybody's kind of skipping the instruction screen. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, except that you gotta swim before you can you know you can run before you can walk. Yeah, which I'm fine with. <laughs> but at the same time, I just spent a little time on that lower screen. Like, oh, okay. Just read a little bit more and every, everything would have been fine. Yeah. But holy boy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 
Jesse, you're up. You guys would have to snuggle really close. I just wanted to get that field goal. Sure. I really like the, the rouges. Yeah, that, that could have won me the game. <laughs> it was a tight one. Like you said, you know, if, you had, if you had like one more half, it if, been a if, I, story. if I had one more half, one more quarter. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it took me to the last quarter to learn how to catch the ball. So. <laughs> it's okay, starting the game, I don't know how to catch. Right bumper. <laughs> right bumper's catch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't bother with loading screens. Yeah. <laughs> it's like reading really instructions for assembling something. <laughs> I don't need this. That's just a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are playing outdoors, so you're gonna have to play they're gonna have to deal with wind that you don't have to worry about because you guys are playing indoors. Oh, that's why there was zero wind. Yes. I was I was confused about, because the wind thing still popped up and had the arrow. Yeah, it was always zero. Yes. So <laughs> that explained that. X! X! Oh well. <laughs> Sub! Sub! Take a knee! Him out of there. knee. <laughs> <laughs> I need a sub. <laughs> Sock when they tap themselves on their own head when they want to sub out. <laughs> oh my god. Who's offense? <laughs> Someone who hasn't put, chose a play and is about to get a delay of game. Tonight. <laughs> See how the, how the clock. <laughs> what? It, what? What'd you do? <laughs> Finding the game breaking bugs. Oh, well, sure, it all starts somewhere, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Is that part of the appeal to kind of being on the ground floor of this? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I I love getting into early access games just because you can be you, can, you feel like you're part of the the experience kind of like the the building process. Oh, what a play! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no! Right bumper! <laughs> oh man, I was so excited because he was throwing it just as he was getting to the line, so it still would have been a legal play. It was great. That, was, that could have been so cool. <laughs> well, you picked up on the three downs pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand football for the most part. I, I, I don't know the uh, the extensions or the, the takeoffs from Canadian football, but I, I do know a little bit of like the NFL because I watch the Super Bowl. Here and that, so. Sure, you pick up on things. Well, in, in, in the simplest sense, Canadian rules have three downs instead of four. Okay. One extra player on the field. So 12 versus 11. Okay. There's a 55 yard line. And offensive players can be moving toward the line of scrimmage before the ball is snapped. Okay. Okay. So they, so they call they call it a waggle. Yeah. But you can see how these. There we go. Just like that. Oh yeah, yeah. The start the start motion button. I always use that every time. Just because you gain that ex, like that extra couple of yards. There, exactly. So it really opens up the passing play because you got to back the defense off to respect the speed. It's a little thing like that. It really accentuates that Canadian game, which makes it really fun. <laughs> I like my games being fun, and I'm having fun. That's all I ask, right? That's, that's all I need. Did it entertain me? Yes, it did. <laughs> I've been I've been laughing so much today, just playing playing and watching this game. Everybody getting excited and stuff. It's it's fun. I've been, I've been sitting here for a little over an hour, and nobody had a bigger smile than you did <laughs> on the other side there. I just love the one. I, I switched to the receiver on that one field goal, or yeah, the one, the one field goal. And he just ran by it to go. <laughs> yep. 
That <laughs> killed me. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard. It was just so funny seeing him go full speed by the ball. <laughs> So were the kick controls difficult to get used to, or no, no, no? I, I got them pretty quick. Well, I I wouldn't know how to adjust to the wind after playing with uh, zero wind. That'd probably take a while. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> and that was a lovely little dance. He got by the first tackle, and then just went backwards. You were like most of those home fans. Was, ooh, ooh. Oh. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Stop running backwards, let's go. Well, as David was yelling before, it's a north-south game. You've got to move north-south. You start going east-west, and they're going to catch you. Uh, you just need one yard. One yard, then go for the field goal. <laughs> oh! That was a nasty sack. <laughs> The real final, the real final match should be against a player and a full team of CPUs. <laughs> I bet the CPUs would win. <laughs> now, what I have noticed has been difficult to run. Run the ball. I people have got more success passing. Yeah. Like once, as you said, once you figure out the catch button. Yeah. Once, once you got that catch button, passes become deadly. Yeah. Especially if you can get one guy to be really wide open. But the most successful run plays I've seen has been have been with the quarterback like that. Yeah. Except not like that. <laughs> it's a tightly contested contest. <laughs> But hey, first and goal, four yards out, it's a good place to have the ball. <laughs> Football. <laughs> oh, thank God. My favorite part about football <laughs> is the football. <laughs> Spread off, that's aggressive play call here inside the four. Ooh. Touchdown! Ooh. That was tight coverage, too. Squeeze that ball in there. I'm going home. That's game. Oh, he's going for two points. I love it. Am I kicking it? Nope. Can I kick it? Not now. Not anymore. Oh, it's there! No! Oh! You had it. You just bounced off his head. It didn't turn around in time. So we get to do it again. What happened? Not sure, but hey, let's try it again. Try number two. Oh! Catch it! <laughs> right bumper! <laughs> what, what they're doing is they're throwing the ball to soon. They're, they're not waiting for the receiver to make the final cut. And when the player is in the middle of a pivot or, or changing direction, it's going to be really hard for them to catch the ball because they're already out of position and the ball's hitting them in the back. That makes sense. You've got to let your player turn around. Of course, yeah. That so, uh, throwing a ball to a receiver that's, that's pivoting to make a cut is not generally going to work because you end up throwing behind it. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, there, there's been a lot of throws to the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. you, you have to wait for your <laughs> Which <laughs> makes sense. Which makes sense. Oh. Is there a specific 
button to catch the ball. Right bumper. So, yeah. I feel like I'm missing someone. 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 I'm miss
you gotta pull it back and flip it forward. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got it up there. You can really see the wind. Yeah. Yeah. And the wind uh, comes into play. Kicks. Yeah. <laughs> wind affects kicks. Wind affects kicks. <laughs> <laughs> My math could be off, but it goes about a 59 yard attempt into the wind. Right. Physics be damned. You definitely started the ball. Yep, I did. He stood up. He definitely chose to receive the first half. Life was great when you received the ball. They all start at the same time, then, then it just falls apart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Oh, just, yeah, that, was, that didn't look very right. His shoulders touched the back of his knees. <laughs> I'm okay, coach. I'm all right. Oh, no. Oh, man. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> I can still play coach for me in. He's received the point. He chose to start Throw that ball. Just tape me up. Will I be able to set the wind at like 100 kilometers an hour going north or south? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to defer to the programming team about what type of variables they've got. I think it'd be fun to go for a field goal and just see the ball flying. Out of the stadium. Yep. And that's happened in games too. <laughs> I, 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 saw, I saw a game were a field goal attempt, the ball got to the goal line, and the wind pushed it back. It was that strong, it looked like a cartoon. I it, was, it was lined up perfectly, then this came back. Oh, no, okay. That's the Ottawa, holy crap. <laughs> it's a fumble! Who got it? Who got it? I think I got it. Yeah, well, I'm I I I I Probably would have helped when I was playing if I understood what any of the plays were. <laughs> no, I understand. <laughs> I just clicked the ones that looked like they'd be fun. That's good reason to end that, right? Well, the passing plays, those players are going to follow that, path, that yeah, pattern, yeah. just follow those arrows. Once I started doing those passing plays and learned how to catch the ball, that was, that was game. One point at a time. <laughs> Passing place. With the defense, you've usually got a man defensive coverage or a zone defensive coverage. Yeah. The man is really simple. You go follow the guy right in front of you. Yeah. The zone, you're kind of covering an area and anybody comes into it. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. It's pretty self-explanatory. Minus the fact I don't want any explanation. I just want to, I just want to do it. Not a problem. <laughs> I just want to go straight ahead. Perfect. I want to catch the ball and run it to the other end. <laughs> <laughs> the sound strategy. <laughs> no. These other guys just keep getting in my way. It's... Hey! Oh, all right. Ooh. Oh. Fucking heads. That was face mask to face mask. Why does it not bounce? Come on, kicker, where are you? That's a 
football fan, it's been fun watching you guys start to, start to like, as they said, that learning curve, you start to understand yeah, how yeah, things yeah. are operating. And again, yeah, you guys just really enjoy yourselves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I love playing video games, especially local video games. The only local video games I've played before have always been, like, educational web browser-based games, so having, like, an actual game to play is really fun. Don't don't tell your opponent. <laughs> Running the same play back to back. <laughs> Pass to the same person. Oh. Oh. That would have been good. <laughs> Just backpedaling. <laughs> it's not a bad strategy. Really. Switch it two or three guys, bring three or four of them back. You know, you got those blockers when you do catch the ball. Or the guy that just runs right by it. <laughs> you gotta do the pirouette to make sure that, to, it's to distract them. You gotta make sure your cleats are grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I don't slip. <laughs> From your own 17 Respect. yard line. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go against the wind. Of course. <laughs> if that gets to midfield, I'll be shocked. <laughs> I'm impressed. Nice. That got a lot farther than I got close. It got a lot farther than I expected it to. <laughs> it's Calgary with the with the lead and the ball here in late in the fourth quarter. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was four and one. <laughs> it was all done by Rouges. <laughs> oh, he's open. Ooh, nice completion. Ooh. Seven one. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> oh. oh headshot. Yeah, sir. Yep. Can't hit him in the head. What happened? Got unplugged. But now we now we see the bracket. Oh yeah, we got a bracket. My timeout didn't stop the clock. You don't have a timeout. You have to take the penalty. I only have one timeout. Yes, you get two timeouts in the game. Oh. And, and you only get one timeout in the final. That's how that works. Nice cat. Oh, no, he dropped it. Yes. <laughs> oh, now we're right off. <laughs> dropped it. Now we don't know what's going to happen. It'll be a mystery who wins. <laughs> it's the Heidi game. This is a really nice uh, 
wallpaper you have. It, it just became the Heidi game. In the last three minutes of the game, Back in the 70s during a playoff game that ran long, at NBC cut the feed and went to Heidi, the movie Heidi. <laughs> the game was tied late in the fourth quarter, but because it was running long, they cut the game, they cut off the feed of the game. Oh my god! I bet people were really pleased with that. It's it's no, it's known through sports as the Heidi game. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to see someone get a single rouge and then just clock it. Yeah, just take a knee, <laughs> run the clock down, take a knee. That's pretty much what I did. I got a field goal and then I just like ran the clock down. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's get strategic. Bill Belichick up in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're up with, uh, with two minute quarters. It's yeah. impossible. Yeah. Just run yeah. the clock. Yep. Yeah. All you need is one point. Oh, you just, you just oh. Yeah. Yeah. big hit. You're in the winner's side. Am I? I commend you on your victory. Oh, in the traffic. Oh, yeah. Take a knee. Time to come out. Go for a Going for the impossible field goal. It's been kind of the strategy got, of the game. Got the win. Got the win. Good point. Perfect. It's um, still a really long way away. <laughs> <laughs> Probably could have got a rouge. Uh, of course, you bounce out of bounds. Got to go through the end zone. But if he kicked it better. <laughs> hey, so, one last chance here. Winnipeg, Winnipeg's got one last chance. They score, if they can score in this play, they got a chance of winning this game. Except that apparently Calgary's got the ball. Apparently Calgary's got the ball. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just get this delay a game penalty and then uh, reset. This became a chorus line. Take a knee. <laughs> Field goal. Field goal. Let's see if we can yeah, like, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 so You know, the funny thing about this is if Winnipeg returns this, this missed field goal, they can return it. I got the ball somehow. If he can get this all the way to the end zone. <laughs> Never mind. Almost successful. Well done, folks. Well done. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. Is that the first touchdown on stream? I think you got the first touchdown on stream. <laughs> Oh man. I don't know how I should
why when you said from 7 until 9, I kind of had trouble. <laughs> it's because regardless, if it was less than 12, we were doing a loser's bracket. If it was over 12, we're not doing a loser's bracket. It doesn't really matter. A three one final. Sorry, it's a three one final. Yeah. Yeah, we're not scoring a lot of points in uh, in three minute quarters.
there, there's there's been commentary on on like YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, I'm saying that, that uh, you know, some of the commentary were from really hardcore. Uh, I don't know. It's, it, it, it's critical. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's critical to an extreme. And there's nothing that I can fix that because it's not that I'm not even making the same story. Uh, so, I mean, this, this game is getting compared to a $20 million game. Instead of going through a full regulation game, you could just start you know, at overtime. And it gives you a really short, fast game because you're starting with the overtime rules. I can't catch anything. I can't catch shit. I'm going to switch to arms. More or less, yeah, yeah. I mean, the differences are very subtle. I just figured out where I thought you were from. You were in national. Yeah. It was killing me. I'm like, I know this guy. <laughs> well, yeah, it's more like that. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I think you felt me with my, like, last 10 sheep purchases. Yeah, yeah. I've been there a while. Yeah. Can you, uh, so you know my dad, right, Andrew? Andy Potter? No. Like yeah, that. you can do that here. Yeah. He always looks, he always looks for you when he goes in. Because you say, yeah, I'm here. I'm doing a plank right now, but I definitely Yeah, a bumper. Yeah, because yeah, I am. Like, I switch I, every every time, time we go in, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's the light icons of the hot. Bruce, so. Right. <laughs> We've both been there a very long time. <laughs> well, from what, from what, since we're at? Ah, for as long as I can remember. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. we helped open the store 15 years ago. We've been here 15 years exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Since I was two. Actually, I'll be here 15 years in like two weeks. Yeah, so. Store open December 17th. December? Or sorry, August 17th. August 17th. Yeah, basically the day we moved. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, 
But if you put like a competitive mode, so it's competitive mode or e sport mode or right. in mode. Let's go! We got a game going on. I love it. You got it? I got it. Yeah. 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 We got touchdowns happening. We got points on the board. I'm pretty scared about that. I, I don't think your lone 75 yard touchdown uh, match will be called.
<laughs> They're getting a lot of practice tonight. it all happen. <laughs> Successful launch, yeah? Yes, it's great. It's great. It's great to see people playing the game and some of them playing it how we thought they might and some people playing it totally <laughs> unexpectedly. <laughs> we got moves happening we didn't even know the game could do. It's pretty fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's a fumble! Oh, oh, run! You know what? It's funny because as these guys are trying to figure out how to make plays, and they're, they're learning the controller, and they're learning all this kind of stuff, and yet, you know, you see some things in this, and I'm like, yeah, I saw that in a game a while ago, you know, <laughs> from the real professional players, right? Like, it's kind of funny watching watching these guys do this, and you think, yeah, I saw Oh, look at that, the dodgy weave, that was wicked. Will it be a one nothing win, or are they going to punch this in? <laughs> got one more play, make it happen. They're going to cross the line, this is it. Oh. Oh, talking the shoulder pad is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I just noticed actually they had you on the big screen. Quiet, please, on offense. That's a nice touch. I like that. I feel like the, uh, the 
sounds of the, the fans are like the backdrop to my life. <laughs> I hear it so often, right? It just is like this constant in the background. And when we put on real games on TV, it's like I don't even notice the difference between like, you know, who's working on a game versus we've got actual, an actual game going on. Wait a minute, that's real football. Hang on. <laughs> Actually, creating the fans was uh, was quite the process because you're you're creating a lot of moving parts, so it takes up a lot of uh, runtime, takes up a lot of memory, and it can really bog down the game, right? So getting that getting getting the mechanics to work so that you can have all the animations working in the stands. If you're really looking at the stands, the fans do different things. Right. So we have a couple of animations happening in the stands with the fans. And getting them to react to, to key points of the game as well. Like there's there's actually so much happening with the fans that for a while it was a bit of a struggle to to get all that to happen without completely bogging down the game and crashing the game. You know, and if it wasn't crashing the game, it was just everything suddenly became so slow. Right. right. Like all the processing times got so slow and we're losing our frames per second. So that was a huge hurdle David had to get over was how to get good, you know, realistic fans that were more than just colored dots up there and, and yet not slow the game down so that it's still running in and the actual um, you know computer background functioning of the game is also having the speed enough that, that you're seeing things on screen when you're supposed to. Okay. So it was a uh, yeah, it was pretty funny watching the transition from all the same uh, player model, you know, all the same sort of figure up in the up in the stand, and then it, and then we went to dot colored dots, and, and then you know we, we developed the real fans. So it was pretty funny. about a game like this, right, is is when you're playing it, you're so concentrating on the players on the field and, and which plays you're going to pick and all of that stuff that's going on, you're probably not paying all that much attention to the fact that there's, you know, the billboards in the background have to be built and the, the fans in the stand are doing things and you've got refs on the sidelines doing things, you've got your, your other players on your team sitting on the sidelines doing things. Well, all that had to be built too. Right? Yes. You know, like it's not part of your action, what you're doing and you're, as you're going, but it, it took a huge amount of work to develop all that stuff to get the real feel. You know, and, and sometimes you look at other people's games and some of the other games and all the other players on the sidelines are static or they're not even there, right? Like, and that sort of takes away from that, that sense of you're playing a real game and it's a real team. Yeah. So it, it, was, it, was, it was pretty exciting to be able to have the time to, to build those levels in. Was that one of the more challenging things to put it together? Yeah, it's, you know, David built things. Uh, so, you know, you had your player models up and running, you had some animations working, you had your fans in the stand. But then trying to make it all come together, all of a sudden one part would bog another down. Yeah. Right? So you're... You kind of put together your car, right? So you've got all the pieces there, but maybe they're not hooked up quite right. <laughs> maybe you haven't got the right gas in the car, right? So your car's running sluggish. You haven't changed the oil in a while. You know, it's, it's all those metaphors. It's, 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 it's creating a machine where it's just not functioning at the highest efficiency possible. And figuring out how to tweak it and how to oil it and how to put it together so that it, it's, it's going to it's gonna run fast, it's going to run smooth, and it's going to work the way you want it to. And part of it too is you got to know what parts you need, right? So, yeah. so sometimes, you know, he's building stuff, and one of the things we were trying to do is we build a jumbotron in the stadium that was showing content. And yet, that interfered with other aspects of the game completely unrelated because in the background it was the same kind of code that was used in another piece of the game. Okay. It has nothing to do with what you're seeing visually together, right, on the field, but when you had stuff up on the on the jumbotron, it was it was using the same type of um, code and the same type of action that other things used in the game and they're in their in their buddy heads. Of which one got to got to got to use that action, right? Because they couldn't have two at the same time. So that was a piece of mechanics that they didn't even realize we needed. 
yeah. is how to how to make those kinds of things happen. So he had to find ways around that. And that's that's the whole thing when you're designing a game from scratch is is there is no blueprint to follow. Yes. Right? So you're you're not just taking a set of built parts with directions and going, you know, put tab A and spot B, right? You gotta like build the tab. <laughs> You gotta build the part to put in there, you know, and you, and then you gotta be able to see the overall design of how that's all gonna fit together. So it, it's, it's quite a process. And it was funny how some things, even with all of David's years of experience in building games, there's some things he never fathomed would interfere with other things, and yet they did. Right. And you know, and then you take a build and you put it onto a console like the Xbox, and. All of a sudden, they've got their own software that you've got to interact with. And that creates conflicts and bugs and problems. Oh, so your game is running completely functionally and everything is going exactly the way you want it, but now you've moved it onto somebody else's platform that's got to interact with their software and they're not necessarily talking to each other. So you, you got to then sort of rework <laughs> and, and figure out how to make those things fit. And so there's a few adjustments that are different than between the actual mechanics of the game as it's running on the Xbox versus how it's running on Steam for, you know, when you're buying it on Steam and it's running on your PC. Okay. You know, you look at the game and they look the same, but that's the thing behind the scenes, you know, the back door of that code, there's a few different things happening. So that was interesting too to see, you know. Okay. How that all works. It's all more complicated than, uh, than you want it to be, that's for sure. Well, without a doubt, yeah. <laughs> so is there a particular feature or function in the game that was a judgment call coming to you and you're really happy it stayed in? Um, that's a good question. That's more a question for David. Uh, yeah, I think one of the things we're most happy with was, was being able to um, get the players to all interact with each other, not just who has the ball. So developing the camera angles and being able to show the players still still you know acting instead of just stopping in the field because the play is stopped right there's things still happening and that was great to to make that all start working so it just it makes it feel so much more real yes yeah so that was cool. this is it are we down uh, I think there's two games left. So we're running this off the PC. So these, this is obviously a PC build. Yes, I'm just saying it for the video. That this is a PC build. <laughs> So here we are, down to the final two, and uh, I'm not seeing any usernames on the screen, just us. We're, 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 not, we're not getting the game feed. There it is. So we've got username versus Roy, Roy, Roy Coos. Roy, I don't know. You're going to have to help me with this one. <laughs> I, I, I just saw the Let's Run a Wild Hogs get picked, yeah. so I'm excited. My first chance to see the double blue. Just asking Cheryl, if there was when they were talking about some of the things that you had to kind of make all work together in the background for the game. I was wondering if there was anything that you guys were kind of on the fence about that you're really happy and stayed in the game. Uh, well, there's there's a lot of um, there's 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 two sides of the fence of whether or not to use physics-based tackles or animation-based tackles. Uh, some some games they they use animation based tackles and so when two players touch each other they just execute a pair of animations and you get uh, you will 100% of the time get a realistic looking animation because it's a, a canned animation but you see that animation over and over and over again yeah. Well, we went with the approach of physics-based animations, and you can see it there. Um, sometimes you get tackles that you might not necessarily see in real life, but at least you're never seeing the same thing twice. I follow you. Okay. So it's a trade-off. 
do you want do you want repetition that is 100% always correct or do you want something that is uh, occasionally a little bit unusual but at least it has the benefit of being always different and you're never seeing the same thing and you don't get tired of seeing the tackles we went with uh, we went with the physics based tackles for two reasons one you're never going to see the same thing twice but also it reduced the amount of animation that we needed to try and capture Ah, beautiful. Okay. With, with physics-based tackles, your tackles are there just by virtue of the physics, right? We don't have to try and motion capture uh, two dozen or 50 or whatever number you want uh, paired of animations. The other thing that physics-based tackles gives you is gang tackles. Yep. If you start doing... Uh, canned animations of gang tackles, now you're trying to coordinate motion capture of a whole bunch of different people, right? And time those and all play them at the right time and all that other stuff. But with physics based, you can have three or five players collide and their tackles are going to work because it's physics. So we do, you know, there, there is that, that part of the community that says, well, we want only animations for everything. And then there's the other part of the community that says, well, no, physics works. It, it, you get your tackle, and it's physics, and we never see the same thing. So that's why we went with the physics. I, I think you made the right call, because I have seen animated football games where it's gang, they animate game tackles. Yeah. And you watch the slow-mo replay, you just watch this guy see, you know, just slide over to be a part of the tackle. Yeah. And it, that just looks... Yeah. So I guess made the right call. So as we were getting through into the nitty gritty, and, and you're seeing players that are have been playing the game all night, and and you're getting down to the finalists, we've automatically seen uh, much higher percentage of pass completions because now we've got players that have become familiar with the controls, and they understand how you need to throw the ball at the right point in time, and so that was. That was, uh, I, uh, I think, about 40 yards of passing just in. And there's, oh! You can throw the ball as perfect as you want. The other guy has to do his job. And, and sometimes the other guy doesn't catch the ball. One of the things I've noticed that from a success standpoint on defense, the most successful defenses seem to be the guys that are taking defensive ends. Right? Yes. Yeah, your, your defensive ends in, in Canadian football in general are very fast, and they get around the corner real quick. And that, oh, I thought that was going to hit the post. Yeah, so did I. I was kind of hoping. He's got it. There it is. With the little spin move to add. Yeah. With a little spin move to add some flair. Well, a little bit of taunting towards the opposing yeah. team. I know. Well, it seems to be an aggressive stand on defense. Like you got, you got, you got a rusher. Yeah. So the player control pass rusher seems to be the most effective use, rather than more of a passive sitting back, yeah. taking a defensive pass. Yeah. The uh, if you, you you have to keep pressure on the quarterback because that will make the quarterback uh, certainly an AI quarterback. But here we're playing two people. Uh, giving giving the quarterback pressure, you will force throws. And, and that's what you want. You want the quarterback to throw the ball before he's ready to do it. Oh, and it was, it was good. That early 7-0 lead here. 7 nothing. It was a solid drive. Yeah, that was, that was nice. That was nice two completions. The Ducks are taking flight. Wow. <laughs> normally it's uh, uh, normally it's me that says that sort of thing. No, no, it's my father because he's the king of terrible puns. Uh, oh, and we got a short kickoff. Okay, cut to the outside. No, nope, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I always find myself yelling that at games. Outside contain! Outside, turn it back inside! <laughs> yes, I'm one of those fans. I know they can't hear me. <laughs> yeah, the little guys in the field, they don't hear you. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel better about it, but yeah. Nah. Yeah, whatever makes you feel better. <laughs> well, that's one thing about the game, right? Now you can yell players all year long. 
<laughs> What's going to happen? And this is a yeah. See, you have to uh, you have to put yourself in a position where that pass is is a higher percentage. Those those passes over say twenty five or thirty yards, your 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 completion percentages go go down because of a number of factors. You got the distance. You've got the angle from the quarterback to the receiver. Uh, you really want to be. Uh, you really want to be having a an offensive scheme that is short passing all the way down the field, rather than trying to get a whole bunch all at once. Yeah. Thanks for bringing this game. This is awesome. I hope you enjoy it. boys, And again, we're trying field goals from the, your own 44. Into the wind. Into the wind. It is, yeah. <laughs> So anybody that is a CFL fan, I know there was no licensing. There's no licensing. But when you're programming the players, I, did, was there skill sets involved? That well, kinda... we looked at um, we looked at uh, one of the one of the things that we did look at was you know real world players and their their heights and their weights. So. If you look at some of the players on, if you look at the slot backs on a team in the game, say Winnipeg, their slot backs are a little bit shorter, but their ability to catch the ball is very high. If you look at a team like, uh, say, Toronto, their players are a little bit taller, and they've got one player that is, his, his hands rating is through the roof. Because in real life, that's what it is. I think we're thinking about the same guy. Yeah. 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 So uh, we did try to take into account what the real player's skill sets is. Uh, but obviously You've got audibles. We do. There are audibles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you can call audibles, sure. Oh, in a coverage. Yeah, you threw in a double coverage. He's not going to make that catch. Um, so... But obviously we, we don't have the real names, so we did try to have a little bit of fun with, with the names. Uh, there are a few people that I know that are actually in the game, and um, you know the, we, we did actually get people uh, tweet us and, and, and send us stuff on Facebook and lobby us. So I want to be in the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we did get that. Um, and so we, we, we've, tried to, we've tried to do what we can do with some of the restrictions that we've got in terms of, you know, what we're allowed to do. So, Fair. Yeah. And that's, I was just kind of curious because I obviously you got different colors for different teams, but whether you would be able to decipher what a strong team was going to look like or if everybody was just on the level playing. Well, yeah. um, the, the, there is no team that is substantially stronger than another team. They all, you know, uh, say uh, for Toronto may be better at passing, but they don't run very much, right? Uh, their, their running backs are not going to be as strong as, say, in Calgary. Calgary has a, you know, your, your running game in Calgary is likely to be more successful. But that doesn't make one team better than the other. That just means they have different strengths. And so you can still do that in this, in this because one team is not necessarily better. It's just that maybe they're better at doing one thing. So. Perfectly put. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess, I guess 
I guess I, I think they are evil. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that means they're evil. Why? What? I, I, who's concerned? Oh. Yeah, this is this is strategy gone completely askew. You just stay out of the end zone. And you there threw you it go. to uh, you threw it to your slot that was in the progress of throwing a block. Okay, end of the half. That's the good news. Yeah. Right, because there's not going to be another play. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen a, a ton of kicking from everywhere on the field, regardless of the wind, regardless of the position. But. But what about what about the passing physics? Now, I, I can remember playing a game way back when. I think it might have been an original Nintendo, where there was no real physical involved. You could throw a 99-yard pass in the air. Yeah, this is not going to let you do that. Okay. Um, this is all. Uh, well, it's it's. Uh, oh, nice cut there. Um, this is. Well, this is physics. The ball has real physics, so you can only throw the ball so hard. Um, you know, there is a the 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 world record. If if uh, American football combines tell you anything, the the record for a combine player is a 60 mile an hour pass. Now, I believe the strongest uh, football throw recorded is 63 miles an hour. So it's not like you're not throwing a baseball at 90. A 60 mile, I mean, that's really not all that fast. 60. Bicycles, bicycles. Um, right? Yeah. So uh, there's over 100 years of history you could put themes the Oh my goodness. I don't know why they're not fighting because this would put them on the map. It's comparable to NFL at this point. Because it would be constantly people learning who the, who the best characters were back in Oh, the oh, oh. It knocked away. He had that in his hands and it was knocked away. All right, someone's learned how to play defense. <laughs> If you kick the ball out of bounds between the 20-yard lines, that's a penalty. You have to kick the ball, yeah. If you're going to kick the ball out of bounds, do it between the goal line and the 20-yard line. Uh, you'll be fine. Oh! There we go. Okay, now let's see you go. You got a blocker. This is what's like sitting next to me at a real game, too. I'm afraid I, I, get, I get yelling. Come on, let's go, let's go. So how many can play at one time? Two. Okay. Oh, again, knocked away. Yeah, knocked away. Had it in his hands. Uh, yes, this is a two-player uh, um, um, local multiplayer, head-to-head. Uh, -head. Okay. Uh, co-op an option? No, co-op is it's head-to-head. -head. Okay. Um, 
We have not been asked a lot about co-op, so it really wasn't something that we spent a lot of time looking at. That's fair. Um, wouldn't be it was something we could add if people were asking for it, but we just there's just not been a lot of asking for it. So. As soon as, as soon as we didn't get a lot of asks, it falls down the to do list. Sure, I understand. Everyone was very upset. What's that? Everyone was. Later on Sunday. One of them blew, blew the uh, the release for me. Everyone was trying to keep it a secret, and he accidentally told me. Oh. You've been telling that story for days. Uh, I did already. It's on okay. Yeah. So third and five, are we actually going to punt? We're not going to try a field goal from our own side of the field. We're going to try and punt the ball. I love this. This is, this is. I mean, like, there's been a few you guys faked in the depths, and you're like, really? And uh, we've had a, uh, we did have a game earlier that was, that could have been won on a field goal attempt, but the ball hit the upright and fell dead, and they lost the game. Amazing. And, and, and I have seen that in real life. And so I, I feel the pain. <laughs> Is there one feature or one moment in the game that is kind of like your pride and joy? You're really happy when it all came together and just. Uh, well, I suppose that I think that would have been way back. So this game started its development in December of 2015, and I think, I guess it was around uh, March, the beginning of March of 2016, where the game had progressed to the point where you could move the ball, you could pick new plays every, every uh, series and move the ball down the field. And of course, there were there were only you know a dozen or so animations. So running and running and, and blocking was just sticking your hands up. Uh, the the passing animation was not even in place yet. I mean, the the quarterback just sort of put his hand up and the ball shot out of his hand. There was no animation. For right. So it was only a couple of months into development, and so. All those animations come in in layers, and over time you add more and more and more. But at the time, there were only about a dozen animations. But it was around March where we got to the point where you could you could progress down the field, getting first downs or not getting first downs. And when we scored, so that we didn't even have uniforms in the teams yet. There were no textures for the teams. It was red versus blue, and. There were no textures of, of any kind. They were 100% the players, models, arms, uniforms, helmets, face, everything was red or blue. And um, it was the only bit of uniform was the player numbers. And but they weren't football player numbers. They were they were numbers that helped me debug what player was doing what. So they were they were not football numbers. They were they were coding numbers. And in March, when, when we were able to, to run the game and move down the field in a progression of plays, and then number seven for blue scored the first touchdown, and, and the, the scoreboard counter rolled from zero to six, that was, to me, that was a big milestone. Because here's your first touchdown. We actually even got a screen grab of it. And and it's uh, it was it was a big moment for the game when you've actually finally scored. And uh, and here is a good pass. <laughs> <laughs> that 
now we're seeing the advantage of, of punting over a field goal because yes. now we got this field position situation. Yes. Yeah. Now you're now you're starting way back. Uh, but we're it's, we're in the fourth uh, fourth quarter here, seven nothing, with Toronto pressing. Oh, and now he's walking. Oh. Sunday strolls uh, are not meant for football. Yeah, you, you kind of <laughs> have to. You kind of have to run. You can't just. Why are these two effective? Nobody will see the walk coming. <laughs> <laughs> There's an element of surprise. So the speed of the player is the more you the more you move the stick, you make the player run faster, and then if you want to sprint. Like really sprint, you hold down the A button. Yeah, that guy's at Smash Brother dashing. And so, <laughs> what probably happened there is he wasn't even moving the stick, and so your quarterback is walking because that's what you told him to do. Um, I like it. It's an aggressive call. I like it. Third and fifteen. Oh, I thought they pass interference. No, because uh, the defender, the, the receiver was hitting the defender. <laughs> if the receiver's hitting the defender, that's not pass interference. That's that's let him play. <laughs> oh, sorry. When that uniform comes on, it's uh, I got a bias. Nah, no, no. It's that, good thing it's just my voice and not that, me. That flag stays in the pocket. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I don't understand what that does. That whole flicking. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what that does. Well, it, it, does it does show the play. It was an overlap. No, no, no. This this defender doing oh. the doing the, the jitterbug back there. I don't know what that's supposed to accomplish. That's too many monster drinks. Could be. It's too many monster drinks. Yeah. Were you trying to? Were you were you trying to dash cancel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Told you, man, they're going to try to break your game. <laughs> My favorite part is switching between all the players to make them all stand up. Yeah, there you go. I'm only, uh, I figured out how to add switch to the player closest to the ball. It's one of the advantages. You know, the guy is. It actually is the most important button on defense. If you're not beside the ball, you cannot stop the play. Oh, no. Oh, oh and bro. Oh. It's all time, man. <laughs> You look like you have the whole I don't know where did that guy come from? I've definitely been enjoying these, in, these between play animations. Retying the shoe. Really like the tuck and shoulder pad back, you know? Yeah, we tried to add a little bit of, of uh, flair. More flair. Let's go. Need your ear. Need more flair. <laughs> it's about your flair. It's all about your flair. <laughs> You're only wearing 15 pieces. You're only wearing 15 <laughs> pieces of flair. <laughs> I did notice on the previous game that the the big screen in the end zone would actually tell the fans to be quiet because they were on offense. Yes. That, that, that was the first one I had seen, so I don't know if they got one for defense. There, 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 is, defense. there, is, there is one for defense. There's, well, there's a few each, actually. Okay. So there's a, there's a, a, a variety of, of different uh, Jumbotron uh, videos. Ooh. Gutsy call. Try to put the foot on the throat there. Ninety seconds and half a field, down by seven. Agreed. It depends on where the rush is coming from. Yeah, a lot of a lot of it's coming out from from evenly from both sides. Sometimes they'll only rush from one side. It depends on the defense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh really? Okay. 
Oh, he's got it! No! Off the post! Off the post for nothing. So, so he knows that the clock still runs. Yes. Uh, yeah, that should be not doing that. I'll look at that. I'd be impressed if this whole table is pressed together. I would be help. I would. I would be letting you help me move next week. That's what I would be doing. When you when you when you when you throw into coverage like that and you're setting your your receiver up to get hit right away, he's probably not going to hang on to that. Unless your timing is really good, he's probably not going to hang on to the ball because he's getting hit to the point where he doesn't even really have possession. Yeah, I haven't seen the attribute list there. Is there a courage attribute for that guy that wants to go Aggression. in the middle? Aggression. Okay. Well, there's also play design, so he's following the play design. Right. But um, you know, if, if the if the route takes him across the middle, he's gonna go across the middle because that's the play design. Um, Call time, man. But uh, there are there are attributes for aggression, which is probably as close as you get. And aggression, um, aggression is really uh, a big part of what defensive backs are because they will they will get closer to a receiver depending on how their coverage aggression is. Okay. Right? So if you've got a really aggressive defensive back, he's going to snug right into the back pocket of the receiver. But if his aggression is, is a bit lower, he's going to try and just stay away and give more uh, buffer to the receiver. What was the penalty? It depends on the penalty. Offside. Yes, because you want the clock to keep going. Yeah. 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 Oh, look at this! The higher level strategy happened. There you go. Okay. Most likely the last play of the game. This is uh, potentially very much the last play of the game. It is a. Uh, now we know it is. Wow, I don't know what that was. Uh, we are. Is there a seven-point field goal? There is not a seven-point field goal. Strip the ball. This is the final? This is it? This is the end? This is it. Oh, 7-0. It's not an early bedtime for you today, buddy. Well, it rarely is. This is an early bedtime. Yeah, this would be an early bedtime. Then. So, side note, I noticed that nobody wearing any CFL gear is in the final. Yeah, I don't know what that says. Maybe the game's too hard for, for them. I don't know. No, yeah. That is true, because we had a few people in tonight wearing gear. Yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe the referee was playing. What, what do we do? Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. No, this has been a fantastic <laughs> evening, though. So, who's your predictions? Oh, oh predictions. What are we gonna call? What are we gonna... So, who's, who's that? Who's yeah, well, okay, what teams are you picking? Lumberjacks. You're the Ducks? Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks. Okay, so we got Ottawa and Montreal. Oh, Montreal. No, um, way. Yeah, 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 it's gonna be Ducks. Over. And who's, who's home? Who's home? You're home, so Montreal, you're at Montreal. It's really good to see two Canadian teams in the final. Yeah, two Canadian teams in the final. 
never happens. Uh, well, I'm going to go with Montreal out of the fact that they're playing at home. So that's it. Just for the sake of controversy, then I'll take Ottawa. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I, I, and it's going to be. It's going to be. Uh, I'm going to go with ten to three. For for a Montreal. Seven to one for Ottawa. Ottawa. Seven one for Ottawa. Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. Now, you've been mentioning before about the learning curve, watching these guys come through. They've, they've each played three games, I think. So we this this should be a competitive matchup, then. More so, in yeah. a way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cup half full kind of guy. This yeah, is more so. going to be a competitive everybody, matchup. Everybody in this has not lost oh, yeah. a Right? Yeah. That's it. I never lost a game. I just ran out of time at the end. I'm going to read these things before we go. by, like, a really long field goal. Just miraculously work. Oh, oh man. You should have. Uh, you should be getting. Whomever kicks off. Well, uh, who's ever given the option, actually, to kick off. If you win the coin toss, you can defer your decision to the second half. So if you. Uh, if you choose to kick. Like you win the coin toss and say, I'm going to kick, you should be receiving in the second half. That's how that should work. Yes. Yeah. In an ideal world. All right, all right. We got a coin toss spinning, and it's Ottawa. Ottawa has, has chosen to kick the ball. Not a bad strategy. Have the defense out there against the home team, the offense. Take the crowd out of the game. Is there a crowd influence? Is there a home field uh, influence? No. There really, a home team has uh, no... The, the home team affects the crowd. The crowd does not affect the home team. If that makes sense. Yes. So you will hear different different crowd chants and different crowd emotions and the cheers are different and all that stuff, depending on which team is doing what. But the crowd cheering and, and screaming and yelling uh, really doesn't affect the, the team. Uh, it would be it would it would give the home team should actually have a home team advantage, but for the time being, we're we're just going to say you know what this is this is level playing field. Okay. So. Yeah. Always thought that uh, that'd be almost like an awareness factor on yeah, the yeah. player side of things. Someone with a low awareness more likely to jump offside or miss the miss the cadence call. On yeah. A, so you can actually, uh, as a as a quarterback, you can you can uh, uh, fake snap right. the ball, and that has a percent chance of, of one of the two sides going offside. Well, definitely established the most successful teams have been the ones that can that can complete a pass. The ones that go well, to the air yeah, attack. The they, running game has not been a factor. The running game doesn't work. Um, the teams that kick field goals from their own 30 don't generally uh, progress into the finals. Um, but, <laughs> but those the players that have, have figured out that the passing is all about the short passing game to the flats. Uh, which is, you know, what? Oh, and here we go with the long and see, oh. you know, high, high, uh, high risk pass. Uh, it, you know, uh, big reward, but but also a big risk. So uh, we did see a game earlier where we, the, the player was completing high risk passes down the field and scoring, but that's not going to work all the time. Your your bread and butter plays, your short passes. That's what you want to go for. Or oh, running hey, the quarterback. Hey, hey, hey. Does the passing accuracy diminish when the quarterback is running? Yes. Yes. The, your, uh, it does affect um, the timing of the throw. Uh, so uh, your receiver can be out of position because the timing of the throw is going to be different. It was great work on the animation for the throw on the run. I was really impressed with how that one played out. 
Yeah, so that's uh, animation blending, uh, which is uh, just a way to to take uh, animations from multiple different places and blend them together and give you a, a, a completely unique result. I was I was seven ones. You're seven, seven ones, one. so you're halfway yeah. there. All right. Yeah. So according to you, this is the duck's last point. That <laughs> that, yeah, that, that was, was that was, was the end. <laughs> <laughs> and and my score is now uh, well, it's not impossible. It's less likely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um. with, with the three minute quarters, it might be a challenge to get your score total. Well, uh, Montreal needs to get uh, three field goals, and Ottawa has to do something more than nothing. <laughs> and now you're throwing into, into triple coverage. That's not going to work. Oh, and we're I mean, taking the knee, you're already showing a, a yeah. recognition of field position, so yeah, the punt's the way to go. Well, the very first game that we showed tonight, uh, you saw the quarterback take a knee, and uh, more often than what should be actually happening. And uh, we actually tracked that down. It had actually not anything to do with the game. That was a that was a faulty controller. We actually had to swap out uh, to, and use a different controller because the A button uh, was for some reason sending a, a a right stick down. And we, well, he maybe also wasn't that good. Uh, I grant you, there's probably some human error in there. But certainly, but but certainly, uh, changing the controller uh, seemed to make that that issue go away. And I, I kind of think it was a combination of uh, the controller didn't seem to be working correctly, uh, but also there was a lot of I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm just button mashing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here's coming off the edge, and there it is. Oh, oh first down. And as you said, it's, if you if the receiver can actually turn and look at the quarterback, yes. it's a much higher percentage for catches. Much higher percentage. Yeah, looking, trying to catch the ball, not looking over your shoulder while you're got a defender draped over you. That's just YouTube stuff. Uh, yeah, that just yeah. <laughs> But if you put, if you wait for a receiver that is in a good position to catch the ball, you are going to have far more. Success. Except, except when you know you're not throwing to your hot route. That was one of those lookout blocks. Yeah. The center just yells, "Look out!" There's definitely been an honor system among well, receiving yeah. players with the play call screens the play call available for both that play, people play have been call, looking away, yes. covering yeah. their eyes. Yeah, there's a little, bit of, a, there's a little yeah. bit of a gentleman's rule. Oh, there you go. That's oh. Um, You know, you, you can't do that. That's not a score. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it looks real cool. It looks cool, but you're not going to get your three points out of that. He's going for our coffin corner here. Looking for it, yeah. Get it. Oh, you. 
Blocking only helps if you don't run into it. When the game becomes available, will there be slides available for things like turnovers in terms of fumbling more often? Well, in the game settings, there are uh, different settings that will help you. Um, they're not really sliders, like not individual things. They are they they're more global settings. Okay. So yes, the game. And in fact, we are using some of those settings right now, in that we are playing with a 40-second play clock, whereas regulation. Uh, professional regulation rules is 20. So, for the sake of this tournament, we've done a couple of things. We're playing with a 40 second play clock, and we have uh, used the, um, the novice snap setting so that you don't have to worry about timing the snap on the waggle. It will just snap for you when the players are in the right spot. And so we've done that, and I, I think I think we're playing with fair officials. Yeah, so we're playing with fair officials. You can set the officiating to be strict. We don't want to hear the But yeah, but so you, you. Yeah, I mean, nobody wants to listen to an official. It costs you millions of dollars when the official gets involved. Hashtag, what about Karen? What about Karen? <laughs> <laughs> nice downfield coverage. I think I saw a snap vertebrae. This is the head physics. Wham! Oh, one to nothing. Well, you're also, you know, when you when you play 15 minute quarters, you can get into 38, 38 points. But when you're playing in three minute quarters, and the last two quarters are using different clock rules because it's now your your quarter is already in the three minute warning. But if we would have done 15 minute quarters, we would be here. And uh, yes, until you would be here for, 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 for ages. But your scores would be much higher. So. We'd be here until the football 21. Yeah. That, could be, that would be an interesting format if you if you were able to get nine guys that would just commit to a team, play play a full season. And so Montreal is going for the field goal. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, only nine seconds left. Yeah, nine seconds. To the end of the half. Counting for win. And up. And no! And just on the one, but no time left, so that saves the single. At the half. No, the first loser doesn't get anything. <laughs> some good blocking, some really nice blocking. That's a nice return. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, at least I lost to the champion. Yeah, if you, when you when you take the handoff, you you have to not run into the back of your quarterback. They uh, they get out of the way as as best they can, but if you insist on running into them, I've seen that in real life too. I've actually yeah. seen that in real life. Yeah, usually doesn't end well. There we go. Was there a certain offensive play or defensive play that was your favorite? Oh, uh, 361 Cardinal. Yeah. Zero hesitation on that. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's my personal. Uh, everybody has their own play that they that they like to go for, and for me, that is, and which is actually the very first one. Yeah. Um, and it's um, it's just because my play style is is move the ball down the field in smaller chunks and high precision uh, passes and ball control maintain the ball don't don't try to force the ball down the field you know keep possession of the ball and go uh, and, and run out of the puck and that play for passing wise is a high percentage pass to the flat to your running back coming out of the flat and so it it, it eats up the clock and and if you uh, get your timing down, that that play can allow you to move the ball down the field. It takes a long time to do it because it's only a five or six yard play, uh, but you can actually uh, uh, maintain possession of the ball. Well, it looked like a play with a little bit of variety. There was the run to the flat. There was a, one, a short yeah. hook there from yeah. the end. And you've got a wheel route. And there's a wheel route on the, route on, on, yeah. on the right. So there's a lot going on. A lot of different options. And if your running back gets caught up by blocking or whatever else, you've got three or four other options, right? So um, that is my personal favorite play. But everybody will find their own that they get used to playing, and, and that's what they'll that's what they'll go with. <laughs> that's what check out and audibles are all about. Yeah. yeah. All right, crunch time, fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. Jump ball. Yeah, when you when you throw the ball up into the middle of the field like that, and and you've got your 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 if you've got three down linemen and then three linebackers and everybody else is a defensive back, and you throw the ball up in the middle of the field, you're gonna attract the crowd. That was kind of like a short punt. It yeah. just it hung up there for a while. Now. It went by really quickly with the control screen there. I saw that there was a, there was a tackle button, there's a knockdown button, but there's a knockdown a pass. Yes. It, now, does the knockdown button get you in an interception position as well, or was there another button for interception? No, the knockdown, if you are in the right position, then that knockdown will attempt an interception for you. Like okay. it, it's kind of a combination button. Okay. But its priority is for you is for that player to just jump up and try to knock the ball down. And it will, and it if you will, press that button, that player will do that regardless of where they are on the field. Um, so if they are completely out of position, um, then you can, eat, you can uh, the player will just jump up and try to knock him. Even if you are a lineman and you're not getting through the block, you can press that button and he will jump up and, and try to knock the ball down at the line. So that will work for knocking down a that, short yeah, bullet pass yeah. then too. Gotcha, okay. Uh, but if the player is a defender and 
you are, uh, he's getting into a much better, it, it's, it's possible for the defender to be in a better position to catch the ball than the receiver. And if you run that, if you try to knock the ball down, then the, the, the player will also just try to intercept it. So it's kind of a combination button that does uh, two things depending on the situation. No, knocked away. So we may not be speaking loud enough about the advantage, the advantages of going to the short passing attack. Yes, short passing uh, is uh, is kind of the name of the game. Your your long bombs down the middle are low percentage passing. And the passing button is is pressure sensitive, yes? So there's a law pass, there's a bullet pass? Yes, the longer you hold it down. It's not a lot of padding in that lower back to be turning around to take that hit there. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got two. I've got two kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Ah, oh, he had a good run. <laughs> Figuratively, not literally, else he wouldn't have been hitting the kidney. Or, or a literal yeah. good run. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and so we're going to do oh, the uh, run down the clock. We're running down the clock. We're taking as long as we can, and you know, yep, yep. Well, keep it on the ground as well. On the ground, yeah. There's a timeout to stop the clock. Yeah. If you get the chance, get that one point to go and go see. You get the chance. Yeah, the clock's running again after the time it clocked. Uh, I, I, I missed that. I yeah, Ottawa called the time yeah. out there. And Oh, and that's yeah. going to be it. Wow. It's half right. Half right. <laughs> Holy fuck. No. It's all over. It's been quite an evening. Okay, I'll uh, I'll just say uh, thank you to <laughs> Andrew, yeah, the, the, the team at Retro Arcade and Esports Bar for hosting. Actually, sort of a wrap up here. Yeah, do a wrap up uh, post game uh, when you're dealing with short quarters and and folks that are that are still learning the nuances of the game. You get really low scores. Obviously, evident with really tiny low scores. Uh, when you're playing, after you've, after you've been playing the game for a while, you've got over that learning curve, you know what all the buttons do, and you get to learn how you can move the ball down the field, uh, and you're, of course you're playing with you know, the 60 minute game and not you know, a, a, a 12 minute game, you can you get, you, your scores will not be one to nine. <laughs> We, we, what we saw was two evenly matched opponents. Well, 
we'll go with Yeah, well, both of them had only been playing the game for hours? a couple of hours. Yeah. Uh, and there is a there is a learning curve, so it is what it is. It was really fun watching people progress as they became more comfortable, confident with the controls, the, the gameplay itself, and they started to try some different things. Well, you certainly trying different things was was the uh, was the theme this evening when you know, let's kick a field goal from our own 10. It's it's third down and 35, so let's run the ball. Uh, you know, there, there were some unique strategies being employed. It, well, there's, yeah, the, the, there, was, there was a number of, of folks playing the game that, that don't have the knowledge of the sport, but they just want to play the game. And, and so, as long as they gave it a shot. They they had fun doing it. Uh, so that's all that's important, you know. I saw a group of a group of players that, yes, as you said, may not have been football fans, may not have been sports games fans, that all gave it a chance, that all enjoyed themselves, and it wouldn't surprise me one bit if, if some of them picked that game up. Well, that's that's the number one thing is is uh, when as a as a, a sports community, as a as a as a football enthusiast community. And what we are trying to do with this title is to grow Canadian football, if that our brand. It you have to start small and grow it, and so we are we are working to get that foundation in place and grow it. And the best way to grow it is to support what it is and, and how we're going about doing it. So let's uh, that's our ask is let's just get behind it and see what we can what we can do to build it up. Perfectly put. And I think we're wrapped up. Thanks, folks. It's been a blast.